What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video, we're talking about RK. So I've been playing YBA for quite a long time now, and the only thing that the Joes talk about more than how much they hate the moderators is RK. Whether you defend quote unquote RKers, or the word just makes you want to vomit in your mouth, in today's video, I'm going to discuss it and go over the facts versus opinion about RK, and whether it's really a bad thing or not. If you end up enjoying today's video, please, I beg you, please just subscribe, you know? We only have a few more days left of 2020, and the year will finally be over, but I'm also really close to 10,000 subscribers, and if you would just please, I beg of you, just subscribe so I can stop asking you. When we get to 10k subscribers, it's over for the year, we'll take a break. Just do it if you enjoy the content, if you watch the videos, because I know a large number of you guys aren't. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Alright, I guess we can start this video with the question, what is arcane? The shortened word arcane literally means random killing. This could be interpreted as killing a player with no known reason, or just attacking them in general. Whichever one you want to really go with depends. I personally think that if you're attacking someone with no known reason, that counts as arcane as well, but to each their own. That pretty much answers the question, does arcane exist? The answer would be yes. However, the Joes, uh, you guys, you guys don't like to take things so simply, okay? After we answer the question, does arcane exist? We then get into stuff like, is it okay to RK? Under what circumstances is it allowed? And isn't RKing technically part of the game because it is a fighting game? A lot of the opinions on this sort of stuff is mixed in the YBA community. And before you ask what side I'm on, yeah, I think RKing's pretty annoying, but I'll tell you why, okay? I have some pretty good points. We'll bring up some points from why people think RKing is okay and why people don't think it's okay. Now I'm not trying to tell you guys to change your opinions on the topic, nor am I telling you that you deserve to die for arcane. to be honest, it's a game nobody really cares at the end of the day. I'm just giving my opinion. So gentlemen, let's all sit around the table and continue. I don't really watch too much YBA on YouTube, but in the few videos I do see about arcares and whatnot, there's a lot of people in the comments section usually defending the arcares or saying how we should stop crying about arcane, yada yada, whatever. I think that's a good place to go look for reference for a lot of this video, because there's a lot of people who are giving strong points about why arcane is okay, and how it's not a big deal or whatever, and how we should all grow up and move out of our parents' basements. So for a lot of this video, I'm going to grab comments from YouTube to fuel the arguments. So the first comment says, Imagine crying about arcane. What's the point of farming all those skill points and your arrows when you're not going to use them to fight? Shake my head. I 100% agree with this comment. It's totally fair to want to use a stand that you grinded for. All I'm saying is it can be pretty annoying for the person who you just randomly attack. I understand that the main game is a fighting game, and that's the whole reason in which you're able to attack people. But if I'm going to fight somebody in the main game, it's either because I asked to fight them, they were attacking somebody, like a friend, if I'm gonna fight somebody in the game, it's either because I asked to fight them, or we both mutually agreed to fight, something like that. Other than that, I pretty much just do 1v1's game mode. I'm not asking you not to pick a fight with somebody in a fighting game. All I'm saying is it's just generally annoying, and that there's different ways to go about it if you want to fight someone. Usually, picking a fight with someone randomly in this game wouldn't be an issue, but I'd say about 75% of the people who do it the type of people to spam easy on you and be really toxic. It's just not fun. Now this next comment says, Arcane was never a problem. Kitties are just making videos about it because it's the most thing aside from new stands. As somebody who's constantly studying the YouTube algorithm, and especially studying how YBA videos work on the platform, I can assure you that this is not 100% true. I don't want to go too deep into how this especially works, but it's not necessarily videos about Arcane, get a lot of views, it just depends on when the video was posted and how they advertise the video. But aside from that, the comment states that arcane was never a problem. I don't necessarily think that arcane is a problem either, I just think it's something that a lot of people discuss and have varying opinions on. And once again, I'm not saying don't arcane or this and that, I just think that people who defend arcane usually have awful, terrible arguments for why it's a bad thing. So I'm just trying to shine light on both sides of the scenario. Alright, so the last comment I'm going to be pulling for today's video is a challenge to me. Okay, it says, try to break this argument. 
So the first point they bring up is, if arcane exists, why can you attack people in the first place? The common answer would be, so you can have 1v1s. But if that were true, then why would there not be a system in the main game? So my answer is, it's a fighting game. You're meant to fight people in the game, just don't be a jerk about it. You can ask people for 1v1s in the main game, but the reason that the 1v1s arena exists is for people who want to do it ranked and have a leaderboard. The main game is a fighting game, so you can go up with your friends, have a fight with someone, do whatever, use your stance. That's why there's fighting in the main game. Nobody said don't fight, they just said don't be a jerk about it. Like you know how before sporting events they ask for everybody to have a fair, clean fight? That's pretty much what I'm talking about. So the next thing this guy says is there are literally two quests related to killing people. So I guess we can refer to what I literally just said about how the game is a fighting game and it's meant for you to kill people, that's why there's a system for that in the main game. But like I said earlier in the video, most people who RK are really toxic, they'll spam easy, you're bad, all that whatever stuff. All I said is clean fight, don't be a jerk about it. Not that you're not supposed to fight in the game. I like how this guy said at the very start, try to break this argument, but half of the points that he's giving are pretty much just terrible counter arguments that he's disproving, instead of giving an actual good argument for why what he's saying is true. But anyways, the next argument that he's trying to disprove is that RKers should just go to 1v1s or 2v2s. He then goes on to rant about how in SBR it's impossible to win because of people who are also playing the game, and how in 1v1s there's people with meta stands, people who are also just playing the game, but okay. Steel Ball Run is just a secondary game mode and you don't have to play it if you don't want to. If you think it's too difficult, that's not a problem, you don't have to play it. The 1v1s and 2v2s game mode are just supposed to be an organized way that people can have a leaderboard system for the game, and if you want to play it, that's good for you. I think it should be quite obvious that when there's a competitive scene such as a leaderboard, people are going to use stands that are better off for themselves or can help them grind up to the leaderboard. You know, they're just playing the game and they want to rank up, just like most people do. I personally think it's a bad argument to tell RKers to go play 1v1s or 2v2s, because that's more of a competitive scene and I can understand why people don't want to do it. But if it's too difficult for you, you really don't have to play it, I'm not asking you to. So here we go again, this guy just states a really poor argument for why RKing is a bad thing, and then disproves it with another poor argument. You see at the beginning he asked us to try and break his argument, but he's not giving us any arguments to argue with. He's just kinda giving us bad arguments to agree with in order to make us agree with it. You see where, where, see where I'm getting at here? So now he says that, Herder, this is not a fighting game. Well, I agree, it is a fighting game. We've already gotten past that. Another argument. But what if they were low level? Skill issue, troll face, just kidding, just kidding. You can clap at a low level. Did this guy literally just say you can clap at a low level? Now, I'm not trying to doubt anybody's skill or ability at this game, but you shouldn't expect a lower level player to be on par with you. That's literally just begging to be cancelled. That's such a bad argument. I don't think we really need to explain where he went wrong there, and I don't think we really need any examples because anybody who has common sense could probably figure that out. Now the last thing this guy says is that, oh no, it's not a fair fight, and then now he says, skill issue, you get a reason to kill them later. I'm not really sure what he means by this, but if he's talking about how you're gonna try and fight back, I guess that makes sense, that's what anybody would do. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what anybody would do. Someone's attacking you, you fight them back, I guess. If you agree with anything I said in this video, please subscribe. I already mentioned that we're really close to 10k subscribers, so uh, that would be pretty helpful. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.